This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 19. For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation, which Yahweh created until this time, neither shall be. And except the Lord has shortened those days, no flesh shall be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles, <laughs> elders at Great Millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And now, Shalom on the sincere argument throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and charity. And now, Shalom on all your sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, not just hearers of the word, but doers as well, you men, women, and children, hopefully, like Shalom. On. And I'm kind of late to the party, but it is what it is. I just finished watching um that movie, um, uh, <laughs> chatting on the tip of my tongue, um, leave the world behind. <clears throat> All right, and it was uh to me it's a prophetic um movie, and uh, the scriptures talk about talk about these things about uh, complete chaos, confusion. Pestilence, famines, and the latter days. And what, what sparked me to bring this priest about to start with is because we're living in a time <coughs> where the Lord's going to bring a lot of tribulation, a lot of hard times on the earth like it's never that the earth's never seen. And He's shortening these days for the elect's sake, His remnant. That's why it's very important as an Israelite. So-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian. All right. And you Israelite foreigners, according to the sea line of your father, who goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is to repent and seek the Lord. Because the things that are coming upon the earth are nothing nice. And Second Ezra 15 and 16 goes into that. As well as many other scriptures. <clears throat> Before we get that, let's go to... Um, Second Ezra chapter eight, <clears throat> and I'm just gonna get some scriptures, some precepts, and you know, Lord wants us to edify on you know the Lord's bringing, and um, just to take heed to the warning, Israel. It says there be many created, but few shall be saved. Second Ezra eight and three. It's good. A lot of people gonna be taken in a wave, man. All right. Second Ezra eight and fifty. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride and prize when one turn of his heart from his maker. <clears throat> and you see, America is that country that walks with great pride. Okay. America is that country that walks with great pride. It says many great miseries. And in that movie, the proud, you know, that uh the family, really the mother, she was really kind of proud, um, was brought down low. Okay. So let's go to second Ezra. You know, if you gotta see the movie. Good movie. Um Second Ezra 15 and 1 says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which means to tell you something's going to come to pass before it comes to pass. And that's what we're doing. That's what we've been set up to do. Throw what I had apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down and brothers affiliated, teaching and prophesying in the same doctrine. It says, Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, in paper for they are faithful and true. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity, the non-belief of them that trouble thee to speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in unfaithfulness. <clears throat> Here's what I want. Verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. See, the Lord's bringing these plagues. The Lord's bringing these ter terrible times. Upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. None of these things sound nice, man. Sword, the modern-day modern gun. All right, and also those ICBM missiles. 
And then that movie, uh, uh, that one, that one, um, that one guy was protecting everything he had with his, with his gun, his family, his house, his goods. But if the Lord's not dealing with you, you're gonna be over, you're gonna be overcome. Because the scripture tell you there'll be three or four with the, left with the sword searching the houses. Matter of fact, let me get that real fast. Let's see, where is that? Yep. <clears throat> Second Ezra 16 and 31 says, Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search the houses with sword. All right. And why is that? Because they'll be looking for resources. And these end time prophecy movies go all into it, man. Go all into it, man. Let me read it again. Second Ezra 16 and 31. Even so, in, the, in those days, what days? The latter times, which we are living in. When society collapses and breaks down. Okay? It says, there shall be three or four left by them that search the houses with the sword. All right? And that's what happened in that movie. They were looking for medicine for the, for the dude's son. Back in 2 Kings 15 and 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly pulled the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And that's why these things are happening, because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. <clears throat> what you're getting, um, 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 what you're coming into, right, is a, a, a season of confusion, of death, destruction, chaos, pestilences, all right? And the only way you're going to survive it is by seeking your how about you, was shy, man. Where's that scripture? I don't know. I think I know where it's at. I think I know where it's at. I think I know where it is. Yeah, it's definitely not. No. Yep, yep. <clears throat> Bear out a couple more wrapping on up. Zephaniah 2. And um point on ones and three. But I'll I was reading from the top. It says, Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather there together, O nation not desired, which is the Israelites. Before the decree bring forth, before the day passes the shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord cometh upon you. <clears throat> All right, and and these times is Jacob's trouble. And this is gonna be a time of Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American Indians. Before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, seek ye the Lord, your how about Shimei was shy, all ye meek of the earth. Which and meek means to be humble. And when you seek the Lord, you gotta find the Lord. You gotta go looking for Him. And 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 the the Lord is where where he where he wants his men to be out there on the highways and byways, as well as through these sit down lessons on the internet. It says, seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all ye meek of the earth, with have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. Right, because this this is what this wisdom and knowledge of understanding is: righteousness. It, it, it keeps you meek, keeps you humble. <clears throat> it says, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And the day of the Lord's anger is is, is uh, rapidly approaching. The Lord is, sh is showing you what's getting ready to happen through these prophetic movies. As well through his men, first and foremost, by bringing out these scriptures, warning you. All right. So that you may be hid from the sword. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's read. Um, this is my last few precepts. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. Right. Woe is destruction. <clears throat> it 
then one people should stand to fight against another with swords in their hands. Once again, an all-out civil war. The haves against the have-nots. Monday swords the gun. It says, for there should be sedition among men, right? Speech causing people to rebel against the authorities and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of action shall stand in their power. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of the pride, their pride, the houses shall be troubled and the, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. The main reason why these men gonna be afraid because they don't have any answers. They're not gonna be, they're not gonna have the Isaiah thirty three and six inside of them, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, so they are able to be stable. Verse nineteen, <clears throat> says the man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods, which means to take. They're gonna rob them for whatever goods they can get from them. Because of the lack of bread for great tribulation. So watch that movie. And if you want to be protected during these times, look, you better seek your how about you shy while the time is good, while the getting is good. Okay? Before the doors of mercy close. Once again, something to consider, Israel. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly fathers, only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors, our apostle, that was a great millstone. Shalom.